God bless you. Appreciate God for all of you. Amen. Thank God for all of my elders, their lovely wives. Appreciate God for them, my deacons, their lovely wives, my church mother, Mother Jones, and I have since Sister Dorothy. We thank God for all of you. Appreciate you. Love you. All of the visitors, saints and friends, we love you. And those of you on the live stream that are tuned in to us here in the beautiful city of Jacksonville, Florida, where I believe the Spirit of the Lord God will be moving by its power. Amen. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is what? There is liberty. Is that right? Amen. And I truly mean that song. That's an old song that God gave me a long time ago. He's going through some trials. And God said he got it under control, my mind, my body, and my soul. We hadn't sung it in a long time. And some folk hadn't heard it in a while, but so God gave me that song a long time ago. Say amen. But in these times like this, we need to know that God got it under control. And those of you in the live stream, know what time it is? Get that word. Know God for yourself. Be in relationship with him because we're in an hour now that by the ordained authority of God, crooked preachers are not an accident. Deceptive preachers are not an accident. They're on purpose. They're part of the judgment for crooked folk that don't want the truth. They're, they're part of the judgment for folk that don't want the way Then God raise up these folks for them. For the last day, false prophets shall arise and false Christ, false anointings. And the Bible said they shall deceive many and if it were possible, they would even deceive the elect. Look at your neighbor said it ain't possible to deceive me if you got the Holy Ghost. One of the saints, beautiful sister, sent me a picture and she had this table with a bunch of flowers, beautiful flower pots, a bunch of flowers, beautiful flowers. And she sent me two pictures and she said, can you tell the difference? And I'm looking at the pictures, and I'm looking at the pictures, I'm looking at it real hard, and each picture got the same vase, the same flowers, the same everything. And I couldn't really understand, so I texted her back. I said, well, I don't understand what you're saying, so she called. And she said, she said, I was trying to show you something. She said, you see the flower pot, the white flower pot? It had the most beautifulest flowers in it than all of the other flowers that was on the table. She said, but man of God, the, the pot, the white flower pot, all of those flowers are artificial. And the rest of them is real. Now I'm looking at it. Isn't that I'm looking at this picture? And she asked me, could I tell the difference? And I'm looking at, you know, both pictures look the same. But not knowing that the most prettiest flower pot with the prettiest flowers was artificial. And she was saying, that's why we have to have discernment. That was kind of scary. That was kind of scary. Because I'm looking at the most prettiest pot of flowers and the one that I was looking at that had my attention was a fake. Out of all the flowers, I was spending more attention looking at this flower pot because it was such an arrangement with it. But it was fake. Didn't that sound familiar? But those of you in the live stream, Tell God tonight, to Lord, to give you an ear to hear and eyes to see and heart to perceive. Everybody don't have an ear for God. He said, if you was of my father, you would hear my words. But because you're not of my father, you cannot hear my words. He said, the world here is on because it speaks. They that are in the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. We, 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 we're geared to that. We, we're geared to what, what excites and turns on the flesh. But they, amen. 
I knew she was going to do that. I knew she was going to do that. That's just her nature. Say amen. You know, when you lose a loved one, most folk want to take a hiatus and go sit down for two or three weeks. But I knew she was going to do it. I already knew she was going to be up here singing with me. Say amen. Anytime you have to take your only son and go dress him and go look at him for the last time and then make it up in your mind that no matter what, God, your way is perfect. You don't make no mistakes. All things work together for the good. I told y'all three weeks ago what was going to happen. Three weeks ago. But young folk, and bad, apparently folk don't pay attention. I'm going to show you why. To the book of Proverbs, beloved, chapter 1, verse 22. We're going to do a little bit of reading today. Is that all right? Thank God for all the visitors. We love you. Prophetess, handmaids, daughters of Zion, pastors and elders. We love you. To the book of Proverbs, chapter 1. I need your undivided attention. Wisdom is justified of her children. Blessed are they that have ears to hear and can hear. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 22. He said, how long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning. And fools hate knowledge. Turn you at my reproof. Little bass in my car. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit upon you. And I will make known my words unto you. Turn at my reproof. He said, because I have called and you refused. I have stretched out my hands and no man regarded. But she have set at naught all my counsel. Everything that I'm saying, it don't mean nothing. That ain't nothing. And with none of my reproof. He said, I also will laugh at your calamity. I'm going to laugh at your worst. Your worst destruction. Your worst troubles. I'm going to laugh at your calamities. And I will mock when your fear cometh. And when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. And when distress and anguish cometh upon you. Then you shall call upon me. But I will not answer. They will seek me early. But they shall not find me. To the book of Isaiah chapter 26 verse 9. Isaiah 26, verse 9. Thank you, Jesus. Young folk going to catch it Wednesday. See, because we think, because we in church, we think we exempt. You know how many folk got killed in the church? Ahab, Hophni, Phinehas, the sons of Aaron. Jehu was in the church with his hands on the horns of the altar. See, people think because you're in church, the building ain't going to save you. You better get something in your heart. You'll see in a minute. The Lord spoke to me and told me this preacher is playing with me. And he said, he's playing with me. and He's been playing with me for a long time. He said, he's been playing with me. He's been playing with me for a long time. And see, Lord spoke to me years ago and he told me, he said, when you play with me, he said, I don't play. He said, but I'll give you something that will play with you that don't play. He said, when you play with me, I will give you something that don't play that will play with you. It will play with you, but it's serious because what it's going to do is going to deceive you and take your soul to hell. He said, he'd been playing with me a long time. In other words, I done gave him something to play with. The Bible said in the book of Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 9. He said, with my soul have I desired thee in the night. Look at somebody, my soul. 
Brother King Cannon quotes the scripture. He said, my soul doth pant after thee as a heart. Doth pant after water book, so doth my soul pant after thee. He said, with my soul I have desired thee in the night. Yea, with my spirit within me will I seek thee early. For when the judgments, for when thy judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. When my penalties, my calamities, my destruction, my sentence against evildoers is in the earth, the righteous are going to learn. I mean, the world's going to learn to do righteous. Skip down to the, in the 10th verse. It says, let favor be showed to the wicked. Give, give them favor. Just, just show them niceness and kindness and love and, 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 and show them. Let favor be shown to the wicked. Yet will they not learn righteous. I'm good to you. I'm, 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 I'm spamming you. I'm giving you chance after chance. And, uh, 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 you understand? I'm uh, extending my mercy and, uh, instead of giving it to you. Instead of trying to uh, bless you putting a roof over your head, uh, protecting you from all hurt, harm, and danger, uh, disease. I, I, I'm trying to give you blessings, but he said, let favor be shown to the wicked, yet he will not learn righteousness. And in the land of the uprightness will he deal unjustly and will not behold the majesty of the Lord. Out of all that I'm trying to do for him, he still ain't paying attention to the book, I mean, to the 21st verse of that same chapter. You ready? I'm almost through. He said, for behold, the Lord cometh out of his what? I put a circle, put a line or whatever around place. The Lord shall come out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth. For their iniquity, the earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. To the book, 2 Corinthians 5 and 11. And one scripture after that, and I'm finished. Second Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 11. He said, knowing therefore the kindness of the Lord. Did y'all got it? Second Corinthians 5 and 11. 5 and 11. Knowing therefore the gentleness of the Lord. Wait a minute. No, no, no. This, this, not, this not just this Christian Bible that we're reading. Knowing therefore the loving kindness of the Lord. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So, so this God that we serve can be a terror. This is the New Testament that they say. He said, knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. We're trying to do as much as we can. But we are made manifest unto God. And I trust also are made manifest in your conscience. Knowing the terror of the Lord right there. We persuade men. We're trying to get you because there's a terror. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. I want you to understand the terror. Last and final scripture, 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 17. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 17. He said, for the time is coming that what? 
First Peter chapter 4, verse 17. For the time has come that what? That judgment must begin. I'm talking about my wrath, my sentence. That word judgment in this particular, sometimes judgment means to weigh, to take an assessment. Take an assessment. Y'all listening to me? But, but, but this judge means wrath, my penalty, my damnation. He said, for the time is come that judgment must begin where? At the house of God. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end of them that obey not the gospel of God? What about them that does not obey the gospel of God? If the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I'm asking you for an anointing upon this vessel of clay. Let the people see you and not me, God. Let the very words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your very sight today, Lord. Father, I ask for a movement in this place today, Lord. Move like never before, God. Please, Jesus, let them see you and not me. Let the very words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. Jesus' name I pray. Thank God. Amen. Now, I'm going to minister a word in here today, and I want you to listen to me. Give me your undivided attention. Give me your undivided attention to me. Amen. Give me your undivided attention. You know, I was praying, and I said, Lord, I said, what do you, you want me? He said, you go back to doing what you was doing. He said, you never let nobody preach your appreciation. He said, this is a time, and it's an urgency. If you've listened, been listening to me for the last few months, I've been preaching with an urgency. There's an urgency. There's, a, there's an urgency up on the gospel. And, and it looked like the more you preach, it looked like the more people are slipping into darkness. Now, you have to listen very carefully. I tell you that the ends of the world are up on us. We're in that last day. We're in that hour that darkness is covering the earth and gross darkness to people. That's not talking about the sun going down. That's talking about demonic darkness. That's talking about the rulers, the rulers of darkness, the power of darkness. Are y'all listening to me? Now you got to pay close attention to the wisdom and the knowledge of the word. Y'all get settled. Pay close attention to the wisdom and the knowledge of the word. Y'all listening to me? Now, the Bible said, I tell you all the time, he said, the end, I declare unto you the end from the beginning. I will be able to show you what's going to take place in the end from the beginning. But it's amazing now, and I'm going to want you to listen to me today because, you know, the Bible said that, that the children are the oppressors and the women rule over them, but the, they, they that lead them cause them the error. The Bible said the blind lead the blind and they all fall in the ditch. Are y'all listening to me? But it's no accident. It's on purpose. I'm allowing certain things to happen on purpose because I'm trying you. I'm going to always try you because I want to see if you're focused. I'm going to see how much you love me. I'm going to send you through things. I'm going to send you through the wilderness. I'm going to send you through a bunch of trial aid. I'm going to send you through a bunch of trials and tribulations. I'm going to try you to know what's in your heart to see whether or not you will keep my commandments or not. And then I'm going to uh, do things to you. I got to test you. I'm going to allow folk to come and prophesy and to dream and, and, and be on point. Deuteronomy 13. Uh, and be on point in their prophecy. I'm talking about be on point. I'm talking about precise dates. I mean, uh, the, 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 the items, everything uh, be on point. But then I'm going to uh, allow them to try to turn you away from what you know is right. And, and, and I'm going I'm to, I'm and the same one is going to try to turn you away from me, but I'm not allowing this to happen. I'm going to literally let this happen uh, on purpose to see how much you love me, to see if somebody can just sway you and take you away from what you know is right. Now, you got to listen to me. The ends of the world are upon us. The Bible said, I'm going to allow this to happen. I'm going to do like I did Hezekiah. 
The Bible said, I, I sent men from Babylon. I sent uh, worldly folk to come around him. You understand? I put them around him. You understand? With in, in business. But then I left him. I left him. You understand? Around a bunch of ungodly people. I left him. Now imagine the God of peace, the God of mercy, the God of strength, the, the God of health and uh, 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 the light and uh, the, your protection and your joy. Uh, you understand? Imagine this God uh, leaving you. I'm talking about leaving the light that left you, life that left you, uh, strength that left you. Understand? God left him, but God left Hezekiah to try him, uh, to see what was in his heart. Uh, I'm going to walk away from him and let an hour get so dark upon you. You understand? But then I'm going to see you. What you're, and I'm going to see you cry, Lord. Are you going to cry, Lord? Please, Lord, please. I can't. Uh, I'm not used to living like this. Uh, I'm going to leave you because I want to really see what's in your heart. Uh, I'm going to walk away from you. I'm getting ready to leave. I'm going to allow things to happen. Uh, you understand? Because I'm going to try you. Uh, the Bible said, think it not strange concerning the fiery trials which are the try you as though some strange thing has come up on you. Uh-uh. But blessed is the man that endureth temptation for when he is tried, uh, he shall receive a crown of life, uh, which the Lord had promised to all of them that would endure and go all the way to the end. Uh, but we're in that hour that the ends of the world are up on us. Uh, it ain't no new, it ain't no uh, surprise. Or how, pre uh, how preachers are doing things. It's no surprise. Or I told you when the disciples said, Lord, show us the sign of thy coming and the ends of the world. Uh, he said, listen, let no man deceive you by any means, uh, for there shall arise false prophets and false Christs, and they shall uh, deceive many. Uh, and if it were possible, they shall deceive even the very elect. Uh, and then he goes on down the line, tell you now, this is the last day uh, where peerless times shall come. Pay attention now, uh, that men are going to be lovers of themselves, selfish. Uh, they ain't going to care about nobody but that flesh. Watch, preachers over the pulpit, uh, preaching a selfish gospel and don't even have a clue. I'm talking about preaching a selfish gospel but don't even have a clue. They telling you to maximize your potential and be all that you can be. You understand? Trouble down. You understand what I mean? Telling you to maximize trouble down in my column. Though. You understand what I'm saying? Maximize your uh, your potential and be all that you can be, right? Don't know too much. Don't know that when they tell you that, they put you in the flesh and when you get in the flesh. They preach in carnality uh, over the pulpit. Uh, they preach in carnality over the pulpit, right? Uh, and folk don't even know it. That's that tree of the knowledge of good and evil, right? Uh, they're trying to mix uh, carnality with spiritualism, right? Uh, but when you eat of that tree, you're going to die. Because you have to understand something about God. God's pure. God is light and in him is no darkness at all. Uh, you have to understand something about God. You, you listen. Uh, you understand the Bible said every good and perfect gift comes from above, from the Father of lights in whom there's no variableness, neither is there any shadow of turning in him. Uh, God don't change. God ain't about to change. Uh, I'm the Lord thy God and I change not. I told her, uh, preach the message down in slide there. Christians uh, cannot change God. Uh, Christians are trying uh, to change God. Are y'all listening to me today? I said they're trying to. I'm not talking about the saints. I'm not talking about the soldiers. I'm not talking about the children of the day, the children of the light. They already set in a standard. They know that God's word is forever settled in the heaven and the scriptures cannot be broken. They know that. You understand? But Christians, this modernistic bunch of folk that them went to college, I'm not trying to castigate education, but when you get to the point where you think you're smarter than God, that you can start eliminating and erasing and that's something that eternally God then spoke and gave us. Preachers are doing it on a down low and that's why you you got to constantly pray. You might be that planter in that white pot that looks so beautiful. You understand? Look more prettier than the other ones, but really deep down inside, you are artificial. You understand what I'm saying? But I'm telling God, uh, I want to be 100% real. Uh, I want life in me. Y'all don't kill me what I'm saying. Uh, I want life. Uh, uh, I want life on the inside of me. Uh, Y'all listening to me today? Uh, you got to pay attention. Now pay, watch this. Uh, now watch. Uh, this is the hour that a uh, peerless time shall come that men will be lovers of themselves. They're going to be boasters and proud and uh, blasphemers and uh, you understand? Um, 
in content, truth breakers, fierce. Uh, you understand what I mean? Uh, 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 truth breakers. Uh, the Bible said uh, 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 lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. Uh, and watch now. Uh, they're going to be haters uh, of those that are good. Uh, they're going to hate folks that are good. Uh, and watch, this is what's going to happen in the house of God. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? Uh, they're going to be haters of those that are good. Uh, but, but, but here's the sad part. Uh, they're going to be having a form. Uh, they're going to be having a form of godliness, uh, but they're going to deny the very power thereof. Are y'all listening to me today? Uh, they're going to have a form of godliness, uh, but they're going to deny the power thereof. Uh, they're not going to regard God in their services. Uh, they have the, the, uh, the, the instruments, they got the singers, uh, they got everything, all this worship. Watch, I'm going to show you. They got that worship and everything. They got it down to an order. Uh, but do you not know uh, that the average 90% of folks sitting in the church today you understand, don't know what it means uh, to really have Jesus uh, as your Lord. Uh, he's your sugar daddy. Yes, he is. Uh, he's your sugar daddy. Uh, you understand? Uh, he, he pays your bills. Uh, he keeps your body healed. Uh, you understand? He watches over you. You understand? He's your sugar daddy. He's your savior. He's your healer. He's your peace of mind, your joy divine. Uh, but, 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 but none of us uh, want to accept him as Lord. Uh, the Bible said we're to grow in grace and in the knowledge uh, of our Lord. Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, why call me Lord, Lord, uh, and do not the things that I say? Uh, you understand? Why you call me Lord? Uh, you understand? You know what Lord mean? Uh, at that day, now watch, this is going to be tricky now. Uh, they going to come before me uh, and say, Lord, Lord. Uh, you understand? Uh, uh, did not we uh, 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 cast out uh, prophesy in thy name? Watch now. Lord, did not we cast out devils uh, in thy name? Did not we do many wonderful that's all you got to wait on me. Don't touch it unless I tell you, please. You understand? Uh, did not we do many uh, wonderful works in thy name? Are y'all listening to me? You understand? Now pay attention to me. Now watch what I'm trying to show you. Did not we do many wonderful works? You got to watch this now. I'm talking about that plant in that white pot now. We done prophesied. We done cast out devils. In thy name we done, uh, done many wonderful works. But I'm going to profess under them. Depart from me. Get away from me for I never knew you. Now, wait a minute now. You doing all of this. You doing all of of this. Uh, Y'all don't tell me what I'm saying. Uh, casting out devils, prophesying, but I never knew you. Uh, in other words, we never had a relationship, right? Uh, I said, come unto me. Don't come to me. Uh, come unto me. Now I said, don't come to me. Uh, see, we think we're smart. We're coming to God uh, on our terms, doing what we want to do. But he didn't say, come unto me, all you that labor, and I have laid and I'll give you rest. Uh, then he tells you uh, that what I'm trying to explain to you, you can't come unto me. Uh, here's what I'm going to show you. You got to take my yoke upon you. You got to take my yoke. You understand? It's a yoke is like a coupling, like connect two things together. You understand? You got to uh, uh, take my yoke, my yoke upon you and learn of me. I'm not going to learn of you. You got to do it like I say do it. Or you will never be able to have the peace or the rest or enter into the kingdom of God. See, he's your savior. He's your, he's your healer. He's your deliverer. He's your way maker. He's your heart fixer. He's your bill payer. He's your house buyer. He's your car uh, possessor. You understand? He's all of that. Y'all don't give me what I'm saying. Uh, but how many in this place tonight uh, is he really your Lord? Uh, I'm talking about your master, your guide, your controller. Uh, and then uh, to summon up your owner. Uh, you understand? The Bible said, know ye not that your body uh, is the temple of God. Uh, you understand? Uh, what you have. Uh, and you're no longer you, you understand? Uh, which body uh, which, 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 which is uh, which body is the Lord and you're no longer your own you are no longer your own you are bought with a price we do what we want to dress like we want to act like we want to go when we want to we tell God what we gonna do you understand he's your savior he's your sugar daddy but he ain't your Lord you got to understand that's why it's so easy for these folk to come in and bamboozle you know hoodwink you you got to understand we've been eliminated from becoming sons of God are you listening to me We've been, 90% of the folks are more, uh, even more, don't even know what it means uh, for God to become your Lord, uh, your master, your controller, your guide, uh, and your owner. You're bought with a price, you're no longer your owner. The Bible said he led captivity captive. He led 
captivity captive. Uh, and he gave gifts unto men. Uh, what did he do? Uh, he led you from one prison uh, to, uh, to another prison. Uh, he didn't lead you. He didn't lead you right there. He did not lead you uh, from, from, from Satan's prison. Uh, you understand? Uh, to be free. Uh-uh. He led you from one captivity to another. In other words, you become his uh, You become his servant. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? Uh, you are not your members uh, a servant to sin. Uh, you understand? Uh, but yield your members a servant unto righteousness. You got to become a servant. You got to become a, a prisoner of the Lord. Paul said, I therefore, a prisoner of the Lord. If you ever been incarcerated, you understand what a prisoner. You can't go when you want to go. Can't do when you want to do. Can't eat when you want to eat. Can't uh, Y'all don't hear me what I'm saying. You got to go to bed when they tell you. And then you got to wake up. They can wake you up in the middle of the night for a count. Because somebody is missing. You got to do everything everything that they tell you to do. You understand? But how many prisoners do we have in here today? How many self-willed folks do we have in here? How many people are self-willed? I pray for a family all the time. You understand? I said, Lord, deliver them from being self-willed. You understand? Despising government. Can't nobody tell them nothing. But they think that they're going to jump right into the kingdom of God. You got to understand. But the Bible said, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it also be in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. They were eating, they were drinking, they were buying, they were selling. Violence covered the earth. Men's thoughts, you understand, the thoughts of their imagination were only evil continued. And it grieved God. It repented God that he ever made man. But he said, I would destroy man. I would destroy beasts. I would destroy the fowls of the air and every creeping thing. He said, but Noah found grace. He didn't just find grace, he was a man. You understand, there was perfect. Uh, he was a man that walked in righteousness, a man that walked with God. Are uh, uh, y'all listening to me today? Uh, Noah found grace uh, and God told Noah what to do to build an ark. Uh, y'all better pay attention because this is going to be a revival and we're going to go on and those that's going to make it, uh, they're going to have to hear the gospel message of Jesus Christ. Uh, everybody want to be healed. Everybody want to be delivered. Uh, everybody now is in this motivation, uh, this economical. You got folks going to economical classes. Uh, you understand? Uh, with badges on. You understand? Uh, badges on. Preachers that once walked in an anointing. Uh, preachers that once stood uh, for the power and the anointing of God. Uh, sitting around in economical conferences. Uh, telling people how to prosper. You understand? Instead of telling people to repent. Uh, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Uh, what does it profit? Uh, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world? Uh, and then to lose his own soul? Uh, what can a man possibly give in exchange uh, for his soul? Uh, life does not continue consist of the abundance of things that a man possess. But we're telling him to get money. We're telling him, you understand that well, we're preaching that gain is God. We're talking about the economical. The eco something's going to hit a miracle and brother your silver and your gold ain't going to be worth nothing. Something's going to hit this nation and you're going to have to have the almighty God. Amen. Habakkuk saw down through the telescopes of time and he said the time would come that the just are going to live by faith. They're not going to live by no money. They're not going to live by Wall Street. Uh, they're not going to live by the economy. They're going to live by faith. Uh, faith coming by human and by human the words of the Lord. Uh, they're going to live by that word. Uh, where are you, where are you, where's uh, the preachers that are preaching anymore and telling the people to repent for the kingdom of God is at hand? Where's the preachers that are telling people to return back to the true and the living God? Uh, the ends of the world are upon us. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? Uh, he tell them to repent. Uh, but in the days of Noah when God spoke to Noah and told him to build the ark. The only way they could get in the, in the ark they had to come unto Noah first. In order to be saved, in order for us to be saved, you going to have to drop that proud spirit. But pride is being preached over the poor people. They're telling you to do what you think and you got to obey God. You understand? That spirit of pride. Your Bible said knowledge profits it up. We done went to college. We done got fear. We done got theology. And everybody's smarter than God. But in order to be able to get into the ark, they had to come unto Noah into the ark. I never could figure out how that lions and tigers and bears or alligators and all of these vicious animals. And you got to understand when violence covered the earth, it didn't just cover man, it covered the animals. A spirit of violence was on them. But the only way they could get into the ark, they had to be subject unto Noah. They had to be, Noah could speak to them lions, speak to the tiger. 
Hallelujah. Speak to them. Y'all listen to them. And they were subject unto him. That was the key to being able to get Reverb now. That was the key to being able to get into the kingdom of God, or get into the ark of God. What are you saying? For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Let me say it again for those of you that didn't quite get it. For as many of you as are led, that means you, when you order to be led, you got to relinquish everything you want to do, your ambition, everything you got to follow him. You understand? But that here's a price tag. For as many as are led by the Spirit, they are the sons of God. How many sons do we got? How many folk are being led by the Spirit of God? How many folk are being led and doing, we're motivated by our flesh? And we hang around a bunch of folk feeding into our carnality. You understand? I don't want to be around nobody that's feeding into my flesh. I want to be around somebody going to help with this conviction. Help me Lord to bring this flesh uh, up under subjection and uh, y'all listen to me I don't need nobody my I don't need nobody compromising with me uh, you understand uh, and giving me a pass to make me feel like I can be in the flesh you got to understand uh, the word of God is settled in the heaven uh, he said listen uh, he said the carnal mind uh, you understand to be carnally minded is death uh, uh, but the spiritually minded is life uh, you understand and peace uh, he said because there's a reason because uh, the carnal mind is an enmity, that fleshly mind that's void of any spiritual inside of God. That corner mind is an enmity against God and not subject to the law of God and in neither indeed can be. So when you get in the flesh, you become an enemy of God. And while you come to church, I used to be your favorite preacher until you start looking at the internet. I used to be your favorite preacher until you start going and visiting other churches and coming back with that contamination. You understand folks that sit around you playing with God. You're coming back. Uh, and now, uh, Brother McCoy, you bondage. Now you're trying to control. Uh, ain't nobody trying to control you. trying to protect you uh, in this hour because uh, you're going to have to become subject under God. Uh, for as many as are led uh, by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Uh, are you listening to me? But here's the price tag. Uh, here's the the price tag. Uh, if any man will come after me, uh, if any man will come after me, Brother Dante, uh, here's what he got to do. Uh, number one, he's got to deny himself. You know what you're not hearing the preach anymore? Self-denial. Ain't nobody denying themselves. Ain't nobody denying themselves. Y'all don't, don't get it. Have it. Do it. Just be that. Uh, Y'all don't give it. Look at the preachers. Uh, look at pornography. Because uh, it's going to enhance your, uh, your uh, marital sex life. Look, uh, are you listening? Uh, go to the clubs. Look at the impaling us. Hey Amen. They pass out tickets. Uh, they, they, look at the, what they're doing. They're turning the church uh, in the nightclub. A lady went to, to a, a, a church down in Florida, South Florida, the other day. Uh, and she went to a church uh, and she told her nephew, she said, uh, You know, uh, I, I saw the lights down. Uh, I saw the lights flashing. Uh, I saw the lights all on the floor. You understand? Uh, lights on the stage. Uh, she said, The only thing I was missing was a drink. Uh, this mama was talking about in the church. Oh, I'm missing because it's got the nightclub atmosphere. And we're sitting back like it ain't nothing. You understand? Watch what I'm trying to show you. That carnal-minded flesh. You got to listen to me. When the judgments of the Lord are in the earth, in the world, the people, you understand, are in the earth, the people of the world are going to learn to do righteous. You understand? I'm going to have to do something to you. I'm going to have to touch your children. I'm going to have to touch your mind. I'm going to have to touch your body. I'm going to have to shake this nation. You understand, but when I get finished, uh, there's some of you uh, that went a little bit too far. There's some of you that played with me. Uh, you understand, I've been trying to give you my word, uh, and you said it not my reproof. Uh, I'm steady trying to tell you what to do. Uh, I'm steady trying to give you instruction. Uh, you young people, you can't tell you nothing. Uh, and there's a reason for it. Your parents are going to stand uh, and give an account to God for it uh, one day because your parents uh, are playing with God. Uh, and when you look at your parents uh, living two different lives, uh, I'm going to show you something. You got to listen to me. If you see an individual and they tell you that that individual is a good lawyer or they tell you that that person's a good doctor, but then 
they tell you that that person uh, is a good school teacher. Watch, listen what I'm showing her. Uh, but all of a sudden, uh, they tell you uh, that that person has been diagnosed with bipolar. You understand? Uh, wait a minute, this person has been to college, this person got a degree, uh, this person got all kind of certificates. Uh, you understand? Uh, but they tell you that the person's being diagnosed uh, with bipolar, right? Uh, what did that do to you, no matter where they've been, what kind of doctor, what kind of professionalism there is? Uh, when I tell you that they suffer from bipolar, it makes you lose, uh, you, you understand, confidence in that person, because a bipolar person can flip any given time. Uh, they can be one thing here and another another way they are right. Uh, you understand? So if I tell you that person's bipolar, it takes away your confidence, right? Because uh, the Bible said, if any man lack wisdom, uh, let him ask of God who give it to all men liberally uh, and upbraid if not, right? Uh, you understand? But let that man ask in favor, not wavering. Uh, for he that wavereth is as the waves of the sea uh, that are driven and tossed. Uh, he said, let not that man think uh, that he shall receive anything from the Lord. For what? Uh, a double-minded man uh, is unstable in all of his ways, right? Uh, so if I tell you that that person has been uh, diagnosed with bipolar, you understand syndrome, you will not have confidence to go in their law office or, or go into their doctor's office, right? Or, or send your kids or, to their classroom, right? Because they've been, been uh, they're bipolar, right? Or, they're thinking one way or another. You don't know what we done did. Or, you don't know what preachers have done uh, to the almighty God. Uh, you don't know what they've done to us. Our parents and preachers have done. Uh, they made God to us seem bipolar. They made him seem bipolar. You understand what I mean? Uh, this God that told us, uh, you understand it's an abomination for a man uh, to lie with mankind like he lied with a woman, a homosexual or a lesbian. Uh, you understand? Uh, we said uh, that he said it was wrong. Uh, and then all of a sudden now it's okay. Uh, he said it's all right. Uh, he said that a woman Woman shouldn't wear that that pertaineth unto a man, or, or should a man put on a woman's garment? Or, but now he says uh, it's all right; it don't matter. He said that a man uh, should not have long hair. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, it's a shame for a man to have long hair and for a woman to cut her hair or to be shaving a short. But then we say, oh, it's all right now uh, for your hair to be down and you to have braids uh, and your uh, you understand uh, 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 a bunch of dreads and stuff. Uh, we say it's all right. We said uh, he said. Uh, Look, we make him bipolar. His, it was wrong over here, but now it's right again. Look at this God that you're serving. Watch what happened. That's why there's no fear of him. That's why there's no respect of him. That's why nobody even believes that he's real because the preacher's got him bipolar. You understand me now? One day he don't like it, the next day he like it. One day he don't agree with it, the next day he agree with it. One day he's against it, the next day he's not. You understand? The Bible said as they listen, he said a man should not prophesy or pray with his head covered you understand what I'm saying? But today you can go to church and the preacher say y'all can wear your caps and wear your hats. A woman shouldn't pray or prophesy with her head uncovered. But now you can go in, cut your hair bald. You know, listen, I'll, let, I'll go with you. If your hair, but, but if your hairs are covered, why are you cutting your hair? You understand if your hairs are glowing. You understand what I'm saying? Look at this bipolar God that we got. You understand that he told us to come out from among them and be ye separated. I've been seat you therefore brother and by the mercies of God uh, that you present your body a living sacrifice uh, holy and acceptable unto God uh, which is your reasonable service uh, here it is y'all uh, and be not conformed to this world uh, uh, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind uh, in other words don't be conformed to the world but now uh, it's okay for you to look like the world it's okay for you to dress like the world it's okay uh, when he done told you to put on modest apparel uh, to wear modest apparel uh, but now you got them dresses so tighter, showing every part of your body. Your pants are so shy, so tight you can show your board. It's all right. Y'all coming to church. You understand with pants cut up and showing parts of your flesh. All of these clothes. You understand? Your showing parts of your body. Years ago, you understand? A man took the asked one of these Muslims. They said, why do you women, Muslim women, cover themselves? 
why the uh, Muslim uh, y all, y all women cover themselves? Uh, y'all don't hear me what I'm saying. Uh, he took out a piece of candy uh, wrapped up uh, in, 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 this, in this wrapper. Uh, y'all don't hear me what I'm saying. Uh, and he took it and dropped it uh, and he picked it up. He said, now, uh, 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 but see, uh, this still good, right? Uh, you understand? Because uh, it got a cover on it, right? Uh, but he took the candy, opened up the cover, took the cover out the candy, uh, dropped it on the ground. Uh, you understand? Uh, he said, now, would you eat it? Uh, he said, no. Uh, he said, that's why we cover. Because when a woman uncover herself, she get dirty. She get nasty. That's for her husband. Uh, should nobody know her beauty uh, and know her body but her husband. Uh, that's a sanctified thing. But now, uh, the church folk, uh, you can show your body if a man look on a woman uh, to lust after her. He's committed a duchy with her already. But look what we're doing. Uh, well, it may not condemn me. Uh, but how many men have you caused to fall? Uh, how many women have you caused to fall? Uh, we got a bipolar God. Uh, we Christians of the day have made God bipolar. Well, what he said, uh, what he said, it's okay. Uh, it's okay uh, for the, to, to, to marry, divorce, uh, change wives like changing tennis shoes. Uh, you understand? Uh, but, but he told us uh, if a man uh, divorces his wife, saving for the cause of fornication, uh, and marries another woman, he committed the Dutch. Uh, and if she marry another, you understand, she committed the Dutch. Uh, now, today, uh, it wasn't all right, but today it's okay. Uh, we got a bipolar God. So, guess what? Ain't nobody listening to a bipolar person. A bipolar person. Uh, don't nobody care nothing about God. Don't nobody fear God because uh, he's bipolar. He don't know, you understand? Because uh, the preachers and dissected uh, a bunch of scripture skippers and a bunch of verse cutters uh, and they're giving you a license and making you feel uh, like you can live any kind of way you're going to live. Uh, but you got to understand uh, the terror of the almighty God. Uh, I'm the Lord thy God and I change not. Uh, what was sin value? Uh, what was sin then is sin now. Uh, the thing that I found on then I found on it now. Uh, you understand? Uh, where there's no shedding of blood, there's no remission of sin. Uh, there is a law. There's a law called sin and death. Uh, if you sin, you shall die. The wages of sin is death. Uh, and these preachers saying, no, uh, grace covers it all. Uh, you can live. All you got to do, you ain't even got to repent because Christ uh, done paid the price. Let me tell you something. Uh, you got to understand. Uh, this man did not die and get brutalized uh, and get tortured for you to go back and sin. Uh, this man didn't get down. Didn't die and get tortured and get uh, beat beyond recognition. Uh, get his beard pulled out from the roots. Uh, get spit on and beat. Uh, and a hat of thorns pressed on his head. Uh, and whipped with 39 stripes. Uh, and nailed to the cross and stripped naked. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? Uh, to the world for you to go back and sin. Uh, this man died. Uh, he shed his blood for your salvation. Uh, where there's no shedding of blood, there's no remission of sin. Uh, the Bible said we who are far off uh, are made nigh unto God by the blood of the Lamb. Uh, what can wash away my sin? Uh, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Uh, what can make me whole again? Uh, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Uh, but watch this here. When God told Moses, uh, he said the deaf angel are going to ride. Uh, and this is what you better do. Uh, he said kill a lamb uh, according to the, every man's house. Uh, and take the blood and pour it in a basin. Pay attention y'all. Uh, take the blood and pour it in a basin. Uh, read it down. Uh, take the blood and pour it in a basin. Uh, and y'all listen to me today. Pour it in a basin. Uh, uh, y'all listen. Uh, and take his uh, and pour it in the and dip it in the blood. Uh, and then go outside the house uh, and sprinkle the blood. Watch. Uh, sprinkle the blood uh, upon the doorposts uh, and upon the lintels of the house. Uh, sprinkle the blood upon the doorposts uh, and the lintels of the house. Uh, sprinkle the blood upon the doorposts uh, and the lintels of the house. Uh, but this is what you got to do. Uh, even though the blood is upon the house uh, and upon the lentils of the house or upon the post or you got to go back in the house and shut the door you can't come in and out or cause you think you cover with the blood or you can't go in and out like you you, you got a license or you got to stay in the house where you have you got to stay in the house or you and your family cause if you come out of this house or where that scarlet rope is or you are going to die with everybody else or you got to stay in the house or David said Lord, the 
Lord is my light. Uh, reverb down, please. Uh, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Uh, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Uh, whom shall I be afraid? Uh, when the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, uh, come upon me to eat of my flesh, uh, they stumble and they fail. Uh, the war shall arise. A uh, host shall encamp. Uh, he said, I will not fear. You understand what I mean? Uh, he said, in this will I be what? Confident. Uh, well, watch what David said. Uh, one thing, one thing uh, have I desired of the Lord, uh, and that will I seek after. What is it, David? Uh, and I made the will in the house of the Lord uh, all the days of my life. Uh, but the only way you're going to be able uh, to dwell in the house of the Lord, uh, only way you're going to be able to dwell uh, in the house of the Lord, uh, you got to be subject to the household. Uh, you got to be subject to the household. Uh, you ain't going to be able to listen. You'll tell your children, if you can't do like I say, you got to go. You ain't got, listen, if you can't abide by my rules, you got to go. Except you be converted and become as a little child, you shall in no wise enter into the kingdom of God. Because this here is not for adults. Some of you bookers are too grown. Can't nobody tell you nothing. Can't lead you. Can't listen. You understand it's for children only. It's for those that will say, yes, Lord. It's for those that will say, Lord, let thy kingdom come. Let thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Only for those that say, Lord, not my will, but thy will be done. Only for those that are willing to obey. Do you understand? Only way you're going to come after me, you got to deny yourself and take up your cross. Folk don't want to deny themselves. Less known, take up their suffering and then take up your cross and then you can follow me. If you ain't willing to deny yourself and take up your cross, if you're not willing to deny yourself, you understand? And take up your cross, you cannot imitate me. You can't do like I tell you to do. You got to be willing to deny yourself. Folks, are they, are they trying to save their life? They don't want nobody to lie on them. They don't want nobody to not like them. If you're going to live for God, you got to understand, yay, yay, yay. All that live godly in Christ shall suffer persecution as Christ has suffered for us in the flesh. Arm yourself likewise with the same mind. Y'all because trying to run. you trying to run. I thank God every morning I got to. I thank him for the sorrow. I thank him for the grief. I thank him for being rejected and being despised. I thank God for chastisement. I thank God for my affliction. I thank God for every pain, every sickness, every disease. I thank God for the journey. I thank God for my enemy because his way is perfect, Lord. And he knows the way that I take him when I'm tried. I shall come forth not my will. You know the way that I take And when I'm tried, you know, preachers that made God bipolar. You got your children thinking that they can live any kind of way. They can party, they can club and come to church and sing, I'm going up yonder. You don't understand. You setting them up, y'all. God is one way. God is light and he gives no darkness at all. You understand? When Moses went up on the mountain, God gave him the Ten Commandments and he put wrote on ten, on tables of stone. And it, uh, uh, when he gave him uh, 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 the, the Ten Commandments on the two tables of stone, and y'all listening to me, you understand? Uh, uh, he wrote, wrote, wrote the commandments on the two tables of stone. Uh, watch this. Uh, and when he gave them to Moses, uh, Moses came down out the mountain, being up there for 40, being up there. You know, I'm, it's sad, but this happens all the time. But he was up I mean, I'm a preacher. I don't care if I got to scratch. I'll write this book on a chalkboard. You're going to get this tonight. But Moses came up on the mountain. And the Bible said that God, for 40 days, he was up there. He brought the children of Israel out of, out of, the, out of Egypt land. Volume. Brought them out of Egypt land. But in order to go into the promised land, they had to have rules uh, and regulations. Because uh, if they didn't, uh, then God would have to cast them out like he cast the other folk out. Uh. But he gave Moses statues uh, and ordinances and gave him the Ten Commandments. Uh. And when Moses was up in the mountain, uh, he told Joshua, there's a noise down there. I, I don't sound like a noise of victory or, or, or war. Or what, uh, I've never heard it, but when he come down out the mountain, uh, Aaron uh, had took the people's gold and ear rings and made them a golden calf and they were worshiping this golden calf and when Moses saw 
The children of Israel, holy, pay attention now. Lord. That devil don't want this, but he's going to get it anyhow. If I got to preach at 5 o'clock in the morning, uh, your blood is not going to be on my hand. Uh. I'm telling you, there's an urgency. God give me to do something in this ministry. There's given to be a turnaround in this ministry. Prophecies will not be prolonged. Uh. There's given me to come faster than you ever imagined. Uh. Are you listening to me? So when Moses saw the children of Israel, holy, given uh, over to idolatry, Moses took a mammoth and broke them. Y'all don't hear me. And went down and grounded up the golden calf and sprayed the, uh, the gold dust in the river and told the folk that was worshiping her to bow down and drink the water. Well, you know how it went. Because you break God's word by you. Because you break God's word don't mean God's word is broke. Because you can sit around and throw this Bible in the trash. Or burn it up don't mean you done did anything to God. You understand? His words forever suddenly said, Moses, I'll tell you what you better do, Pop. Because you broke the two tables of stone. You ain't broke me. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. Because you broke them two tables of stone. You have not broke me. I want you to hew me out two more tables of stone. And I want you to come back upon the mountain. But this time I want you to do something. I want you to build me a tabernacle. I want you to build me an ark. I want you to build an ark. You understand? And this time I'm not going to put my commandments in your hand. I'm going to put them inside the ark. But I want you to watch this. I want you to build the tabernacle. I want you to build the outer court, the inner court, and the holies of holies. Watch this. I want you to build the outer court, the inner court, and the holy place, the uh, holies of holies. In the outer court will be the brazen altar and the labor filled with water for the washing of the water to get cleansed for the offer of the sacrifice. And then in the inner court, you have the altar of incense, the seven golden candles sticks, uh, the shoe bread, uh, y'all don't hear me, which represent uh, the spirit of the living God. Uh, uh, there's another realm in there that only the high priest and the high priest alone, by you, and the high priest alone can go in. Uh, that's called the holy place. Uh, that's called the holy place. Uh, in here will be the ark of the covenant. Uh, it will be Aaron's rod that budded. Uh, it will be the hidden manna, the golden bowl uh, with the hidden manna, the revelation of God. Uh, but it's going to be the ark of the covenant. Uh, and in here uh, uh, and here there's going to be a, a mercy seat uh, that's going to sit on top of the Ark of the Covenant. It's going to be a mercy seat. Uh, co let's come before the mercy, the mercy seat of God. Uh, there's the mercy seat uh, in the holy place of God. Please listen. Uh, the mercy, uh, in other words, God, uh, our son of David, have mercy. Uh, in other words, I'm guilty. I tell him all the time, uh, you don't owe me value. You don't owe me nothing, God. Uh, you don't owe me one thing, Lord. Uh, but would you have mercy? I'm really, Lord, I really deserve hell and over, Lord. But have mercy, meaning I'm guilty, but bless me, Lord, too much. I'm guilty, Lord, but bless me. Have mercy upon me, Lord. If it be not for the mercies of God, we'd all be consumed. But thank God that his mercies are renewed day by day. Have mercy, Lord. In other words, have mercy, the sure mercies of David. You understand? But he's in a mercy seat. You understand? When we would come before the mercy seat, and overshadowing uh, the mercy seat uh, with cherub beings. Uh, these were killer angels. They were, they were guardian angels. Uh, you understand? They, they, they pointed their wings. Uh, their wings uh, uh, were pointed toward each other. And they overshadowed uh, the mercy seat. Uh, in the book of Leviticus, I believe it is 16, uh, he said, when you come into the holies of holies, uh, into the mercy seat, uh, he said, I will speak to you there. That was his place. Uh, that was the place that God was in. Uh, that was the realm that God was in. He was in the place of mercy. He was in the place of mercy. Y'all don't kill me when we would come before him. Even though the world had sinned even though the people that messed up y'all I'm almost finished I'm almost finished even though the people were messed up they didn't commit the Dutch with fornicator when the high priest would come in you understand and offer up the blood sacrifice you understand for himself and for the sins of the people in that mercy see God would have mercy knowing that knowing that man was but a vapor know the frame of man is but dust knowing that man was shaping in iniquity and in sin that his mother conceived 
receive him knowing uh, that he did listen uh, he had the Adamic nature he would have mercy y'all don't kill me what I'm saying uh, oh but God would send his word uh, God would send deliverance uh, and he was steady giving us a word uh, but he stayed in the holies of holies uh, in the holy place uh, in the mercy seat uh, when the Bible said in the book of Isaiah y'all don't kill me what I'm saying uh, when the judgments of the Lord are in the earth uh, the people of the world are going to learn to do righteous uh, he said when I come to you I try to give you my counsel but you said it not my word I've been trying to preach to you I've been trying to tell you young people old people preachers reachers and teachers I've been coming to your honor and I've been begging I've been t- when I stepped at that office today about coming in here tonight uh, I said God forgive me my son-in-law said Lord please forgive us Lord uh, forgive us Lord uh, you understand uh, I said Lord forgive me I'm saying Lord please uh, don't let me enter your situation don't let me offer strange fire before you Lord uh, put the reverence of God back in a heart Lord uh, put the fear of God back in a heart Lord uh, Jesus had the spirit of fear of the Lord uh, we don't fear God no more we pray with God uh, we pray with God uh, we don't fear God no more you understand we don't got no conviction no more you understand we're crying out to God uh, but when they would walk in that realm uh, the priest would offer up sacrifices for himself and for the people uh, and God would look upon it and have mercy upon the people uh, can the Ethiopian change his color can a leper change his spots uh, how then can they that are accustomed to doing evil turn and do good uh, but when the judgments of the Lord uh, are in the earth uh, the people of the world are going to learn to do righteous uh, when I get ready to finish bringing these tornadoes when I get finished bringing these earthquakes uh, when I get finished bringing these plagues uh, and bringing these wars uh, y'all don't kill me what I'm saying uh, bringing civil wars uh, and bringing all of this uh, confusion and, and uh, division and bringing uh, a bunch of bipolar a bunch of craziness uh, a bunch of suicide and letting demons loose uh, up on the face of this earth uh, you understand when I get finished uh, and then folk don't call upon the Lord uh, but I tried to reach out to you my hands was outstretched all day long uh, to a gainsaying and disobedient people uh, you understand uh, instead of listening to my words you got always got something you got to say uh, always got something you got to remark uh, but I don't see it that way uh, I'm talking about people that say yes Lord uh, you understand uh, meek people uh, and no rebuttals no, uh, no response to just say Lord yes uh, if I read it in your word uh, this is what you want me to dress uh, this is how you want me to live uh, this is what you want me to do uh, this is what you want me to be uh, you don't want me to be unequally yoked together with unbelievers uh, you don't want me to have, uh, no, have no fellowship uh, with the unfruitful works of darkness uh, you done told me to come out from my mother and be inseparable uh, you told me I got to leave mother father sister brother houses and land uh, you told me Lord uh, if I can't hate mother sin and hate father sin hate sister and brother sin and my own sin I cannot enter into the kingdom of God if I'm not willing to, to take up my cross you understand I won't be able to follow you you understand you telling me this you understand but I'm giving you my word I'm trying to show you if you will just diligently hearken unto the voice of the Lord to observe to do all of my commandments which I command you this day I will set thee on high above all nations of the earth and all these blessings shall come upon thee and overtake to you. I told you what I would do for you. I told you how I would bless you. I told you I'd be more for you than the whole world against you. I told you when the enemy come against you one way, he'll have to flee seven different ways. I told you that I would be your shield, your buckler, your strong tower. I'd be your refuge. I'd be your mighty God. You understand? I'd be your, I will cover you with my feathers and under my wings. Shall you be able to trust? I told you if you stay in me, I will give my angels charge over thee to keep you in all thy ways. Uh, you understand? Uh, lest that any time you dash your feet against a the stone, they will bear you up in the hand. Uh, y'all listen to me. Uh, I told you uh, that I would be a very present helper uh, in the time of trouble. I told you uh, that I'm more for you than the whole world against you. I told you, uh, you understand that greater is he uh, that is in you than he that is in the world. If you walk in my word, uh, I told you that I would be your shield. I told you that no weapon would be able to be formed against you and would prosper and every tongue but look at you you understand I told you that I would be your keeper I told you you're kept by the power of God I told you I'm able to keep you from falling and to present your faultless before my presence with exceeding joy I told you all of this I told you that I would promise you long life I told you I would give you long life that you pray with me I told you what I would do but I'm prophesying but now it ain't no more you understand I guess what now with the judgments of the Lord in the earth, uh, people are going to learn to do righteous. Uh, but the Bible said that God's coming out.
out of his place. God's coming out of his place. God's coming out of his place. You work in a children's hospital. This is when you know he's coming out of his place. The children's hospital. The children's hospital is filling up. And they fill it up. When little kids are falling on skates, uh, you understand, uh, are falling uh, on, a, on a skateboard, uh, it's filling up with children, uh, babies uh, having strokes, it's filling up uh, with babies uh, having heart attacks, it's filling up uh, with babies uh, with tumors in their brains, uh, it's filling up with babies, uh, you understand, uh, hallelujah, suicidal uh, and took their own lives, uh, it's filling up with people that done killed their babies uh, and put them in the, in the oven. Uh, and slip they throw so it's filling up this is when you know that the volume when the message of God is changing the God didn't come out of his place he didn't come out of the place of mercy it ain't no more mercy I'm trying to give you mercy but listen I'm gonna mock you I'm gonna, I'm gonna laugh at you when your calamity come up I'm gonna mock you when your fear come up on you I'm gonna mock you you playing with me when I told you to pray when I told you to seek God when I told you I warned you that something gonna happen in this church that's gonna shake these folk and you looking for things like it can't happen to you you can get so to the point of you understand that you become morbid you understand that the word they're preaching now will desensitize you it'll desensitize you it got you in the world it got you in the in the church it make you feel like you can do whatever you want to do and ain't nothing gonna happen it'll desensitize the church you understand we're past feeling we don't have no more conviction our conscience are sealed with a hot iron we can fornicate, we can homo, we can look at porno, come in the church and jump up and shout. You understand? Like ain't nothing wrong, but you got to understand. He said, Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give to every man according as his work shall be. You might get by me, you might get by the preacher, but you're going to stand before God that day and say, Did not I prophesy? Did not I cast out devils? Did not I do many wonderful works? I'm a professor to you. you understand you were self-willed. You did not do like I told you. You did what she wanted to do. You went where you wanted to go. You dressed like you wanted to dress. And I was looking for somebody that said, yes, Lord. I was looking for those that didn't, wasn't just looking for me to be your savior. I was looking for somebody you understand, but let me be their Lord. All oh, that have come in now. The preachers that come in over the pulpit unaware and have turned the grace of God in the less serious. They've given you a license that you can live and see you don't want to be in trouble that's too much control you don't want to be in trouble that's a cult you don't want to be in trouble with a preacher like me that's bondage that's cultism understand when it used to be holiness when it used to be your protection when it used to be your peace of mind when it used to be your joy divine when it used to be the thing that kept the devil out of you kept the devil off your children kept you walking in a confidence y'all don't kill me what I'm saying kept them demons from the past they were then cast out of you from coming back in you alcohol drugs y'all don't come in now there's a word that they're preaching got the stuff coming back upon you you're going back to drinking going back to smoking going back to drugging going back to the clubs going back to home and the preachers are saying it's all right but God that said that those that are homemongers and adulterers and fornicators and liars you understand and drunkards and revelers party go Y'all bookers going to these concerts where these bookers wearing G-strings and no clothes on and shaking and twerking across the stage and y'all got front row seats and talking about you're a child of God. Y'all drinking, smoking when he said wine is a mocker and strong drinkers raging. He said listen, be not given the wine and now this bipolar God that we're serving this bipolar God that don't got his mind made up this bipolar God that don't know what he's going to come in. And that's why you don't fear him no more. Because you think uh, he's bipolar. And what he didn't like then, uh, he like it now. Uh. And let me tell you something. Uh, he's the same yesterday, the day, and forevermore. He's the Lord that God. Uh, and he changes now. Uh. What was sin then, uh, is sin now. Uh. What'll take you to hell then, uh, I'll take you to hell now. Uh. What'll bring destruction then, uh, I'll bring destruction now. Uh. You understand what I mean? Uh, when the judgments of the Lord uh, are in the earth, the people of the land uh, 
are going to learn to be righteous. It's appointed unto men once to die. After that, the judgment, y'all. Understand, judgment must first begin in the house of God. I'm coming to your house. I'm coming to your house. I'm coming to the church. I'm coming to the pulpit. I'm coming to the, uh, y'all don't come here. I'm coming on the mama board. I'm coming on the usher board. I'm coming on the pastor's aid. I'm getting on these instruments. Y'all play them with me. Y'all play them with me. I'm going to give some of you bigger strokes. I'm going to take some of your mind. I'm going to give you a cardiac arrest. Are you setting up teaching other folk in your life is on another way? I'm crying out to God. When I was going through them trials, it was scary. Because I was saying, Lord, don't let me get caught with my works undone. Please, God, I know better. I I know better. I know better. He that knoweth to do good and doeth it not is beat with many stripes. They said the worst cry in hell is the cry of preachers, is the cry of prophets, is the cry of those of you that know better. You know what God wants, and you done backed up with these folks, making it look like God's bipolar. You can be in the world and be in the church. You can be in the club and be in the church. You can live like you want, wear your sexy clothes, and come up in the house of God and cause folk to stumble what he didn't like then he don't like it now what he didn't go for the end he don't go for it now what he forbid it then he forbids now God's looking for a holy people God's looking for a royal priesthood he's looking for a holy nation he's looking for those of peculiar people that are called out to show forth the praises of him that called him out of darkness into his mother's light come out from among them and be ye separated saith the Lord and touch not the unclean thing and I will be your father and you're going to be my sons and my daughters. You pray with me. You pray with me. And you're going to wake up one morning. You understand and feel like you're going to be able to remember your name. You're going to pray with me. You're going to wake up one morning and ain't going to be able to move. You understand you pray with me and ain't going to be able to wake up one morning. You're going to be able to wake up one morning. You understand and lift up your eyes in hell. And I'm telling God tonight, Lord, whatever you do, God, whatever you do, God, there's some men's sins are open before her. And then there's some folk, you leave them alone. You let them keep prophesying, Trevor. You let them keep going. You let them keep preaching. You let them keep pastoring. You let them keep praying. You let them keep singing. You let them keep administrating. You let them keep going. And let them get all the way to judgment day and tell them to depart from you for that the work of iniquity. I'm telling God today, don't listen. Don't let me be like too much. Don't let me be like Solomon. Don't let me be like Solomon. You understand? I may not be a Samson. You put his eyes out. I may not be a Saul. You understand? You took his anointing. I may not be a David. You took her. You understand? And sit naked to him. Whatever you do, understand? Don't let me be a Solomon. Don't let me be a Solomon. You know what he did to Solomon? After all the such, said Solomon done, he didn't do nothing to him. He blessed him. He prospered him. You understand? Solomon didn't even have war. Solomon, I told you, don't marry them strange women. Solomon married them anyhow. In the daytime, he would go to church, man. He would go to church and worship God. In the night, he would go up in the mountain with his wives and worship idol gods. The Bible said his spirit left him. God let the devil take his mind. You understand? The devil took some folks' mind up in here. He got your mind. He got you thinking you can walk up in here and ain't nothing going to happen. He got your mind. He got you thinking you can live any kind of way you can do any kind of thing you understand and it's going to be all right he got your mind see I'm preaching and you done turned to deaf ear but you are stand before God you know better you know better you know better you understand if you go to hell like brother Newberry said if trouble and Zion go to hell with all of this word it's because you wanted to go you know better tonight you think God changed watch in just a little bit it's going to be destruction here the world and it's going to especially hit America it's going to hit America and by these storms there's going to be a volcanic eruption, eruption in America I told you something going to happen in this nation going to shut this nation down you understand I told you that somebody important is going to die going to get killed and it's going to set a firestorm in this nation you ain't seen you understand civil unrest yet you ain't seen how people are going to be dying not because somebody shot they're going to be dying from fear they're going 
going to be going to people's houses. They're going to be sitting in the houses that starve to death because they were scared to go to the store because they were scared to go to work. People are going to die because they're not going to be able to adjust to the living conditions. It will be contemplative cities and places in America like third world countries. No running water, no food. No McDonald's going to have signs on them. You don't believe that, do you? You understand? The wicked shall be turned into hell. And every nation, think of hell. Think of the torment. The wicked shall be turned into hell. And every nation that forgets God. We were the country that was founded upon in God we trust. And look within our daughter. It was all right. You understand? It was wrong to kill your babies. Now it's okay. It's all right. Y'all don't care me what I'm saying. Look what we've done. We legalized homosexuality. You ain't read nowhere in the Bible that any city that was turned over to homosexuality everlasting. God brought fine brimstone down from heaven and destroyed cities. They met Sodom and Gomorrah, Ty and Sidon. You understand? God ain't no respect of person. America, he ain't coming. America, he ain't coming. Watch. He ain't coming. You know how I know he ain't coming? Because look at the churches. Look at the beacon of light. Look at the ones that's supposed to put a difference. Look at the sages of the world. America ain't even got saviors. They ain't even got saviors. They ain't even got a preacher that'll turn us back to God. They ain't even got your mega preachers. They ain't turning us back to God. They busting your mega preachers. Your mega preachers are homosexual. Your mega preachers are a bunch of crooks. We don't have nobody. You understand? America that went astray. Where's the voice now? Where's the voice? Where's the voice? Where's the ones that got influence? What are your influences? We influence them to go to clubs. We influence them to twerk. We influence them to shake hands with other homosexuals. Shake hands with other homosexuals. Shake hands. You understand what I mean? Where are the deliverers? We don't have it. America's lost. America's lost. And God gave me to raise up a remnant. I'm going to get me a people out of a people out of a people. I'm coming out my place. I'm coming out my place. I'm coming to your babies. I'm coming to your marriages. I'm coming to your bodies. I'm coming to your ministries. You playing with me. I'm coming out my place. I don't care if they're two months older. I don't care if they're two weeks older. I'm going to show America. I'm not playing. I'm over and over and over in Palestine. Over Palestine. They holding their little babies. Wrapped up in her little white sheets. With blood soaked sheets. You understand? Holding little babies. They over there now. Starving to death. You understand what I'm saying? And can we in America that forsook the almighty God. Living in houses with air conditioner. Living with houses. You understand? With hot and cold water. Living and sleeping on pillow top mattresses. Got toilets to use. And them folks sitting over there. Them folks sitting over there, they got nowhere to lay their head. Them folks over there in Ukraine, they got nowhere to go. Them folks over there in Syria, different places now, are messed up. Y'all don't get me. And we in America sitting around and forsaking the Almighty God. He ain't nothing. He's a bipolar God. You understand? He don't know he ain't got his mind made up. Cause some preacher will tell you he don't. This ain't for that hour. He's not a bipolar God. He's coming out. If you think I'm lying, you watch. You'll see more funerals. You're going to see more disasters. You're going to see folk crying. You're going to see church folk that you thought was walking, that you thought, that you thought, that you thought, that you thought was walking in a realm with God. But they were playing with God. I'm going to make them weep. I'm going to make them cry. You thought preachers that were walking in a realm with God. I'm going to make them weep. I'm going to make them fall. I'm going to break them down to their knees. I'm going to make them cry out like you ain't never seen them. You done made them a Bible. Like he don't know what he's doing. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. I'm the Lord, that God, and I change not. I'm not changing nothing. I'm not changing nothing. Be ye holy, for I am holy. Come out from among them. Touch not the unclean thing. Be come out of here. That you be not partaker of a pledge. I brought out my wrath. I brought out my judgment. I'm coming to your house. I'm coming to your house. You ain't seen nothing. Judgment must first be. 
begin with the house of God. I don't care if you're a preacher's kid. I'll kill you. I don't care if your mama's a prophetess. I'll kill you. I don't care if you've been preaching for 60 years. You fool with me. In the day you turn from your righteousness and start doing evil. In that day I remember your righteousness no more. And in the day you turn from your evil and start doing right. I won't remember that. If you'll call upon me and cry out to me and say, God, please, don't let me miss the time of my visitation, Lord. Where are the preachers in America? We have lost our way. And it removed the landmark. We can't even find our way back home. We can't even find our way back home because preachers that destroyed the landmarks. If the foundation be destroyed, what can the people do? Jesus is the foundation. Jesus is the foundation. Jesus is the foundation. A man that did always the things that pleased the Father. He wasn't a man pleaser. He didn't care about tie pairs. He didn't care about a bunch of numbers. He didn't care about how many folk was coming to church. He wanted to obey God. He had over 5,000 and men alone, not including the women and the children. And when he got finished preaching, and tell them that they got to deny themselves. They got to leave mother, father, sister, brother. Let the dead bury the dead. If a man put his hand to the plow and look back, he ain't fit for the kingdom of God. And he went to tell him, you got to drink my blood. You got to eat my flesh. If you're going to be my disciple. When he got finished, guess what? Out of over 5,000 men alone, not including the women and the children, only 120 was able to go into the upper room. I'm going to get a people out of a people, out of a people, out of a people until I get somebody that will obey me. I'm going to get somebody that will do my will. Out of all of those folks, only 120 went into the upper room. You understand? There's many a call, but few are chosen. I've chose 12 of you, and one of you is a devil. I got one of you walking with me. I got one of you sleeping with me. I got one of you eating with me. And even all the miracles, all the stuff you see, you still going to let the devil trick you. And your soul go to hell. Out of all of the stuff you've seen, Judas, you won't let the devil. You are part of the bishopric. You was those that went out, healed the sick, and raised the dead. Come back leaping and rejoicing. Even the devils were subject. And now you have lost your anointing. Now it was sad. It was better for you to not even been born. I don't want it to be sad. It's better for me not to be born. After all of the years that I have put in, oh, let me get to the cross over and get crossed out. Please, God, I know I'm being tested in my home. I'm being tested in my mind. I'm being tested in my body. I'm being tested in the church. But whatever you do, God, let me pass the test, Lord. Let me be able to show you, Lord, that I love you more than anything in the heaven, the earth, and the universe. Take it. I love such a daughter. Lord, but you can take her. Take my children. Take the pet. Take my grandbabies. Take everything. But whatever you do, take not your Holy Spirit, whatever you do, cast me not away from your presence. Whatever you do, Lord, oh, take the Holy Ghost. Don't oh, take my peace. Oh, take my joy. Oh, take my protection. Oh, take my life. Oh, take my strength. Oh, take my mind. I don't be without you before, Lord. Oh, take the voice. Oh, take the fellowship. God, you got to help me, Lord. Oh, let me die like a fool. Oh, let me die like a fool. God, please, Lord. There's a bunch of folks set up in the church. Playing with me, but I got something to play with. I'm gonna let you have the devil. He gonna talk like me. He gonna look like me. He gonna act like me, but he can't live like me. I'm gonna let him sit inside. I'm gonna let him let you speak in tongues. I'm gonna let him let you preach. I'm gonna let him let you prophesy. I'm gonna let him let you say. I'm gonna let him let you preach. Administrator, and I'm gonna let him take your soul to hell. God don't put something in me. Blessed is the man who sins. The Lord forgive. Who imputeth not iniquity. Blessed is the man whose sins are forgiven, whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity. Blessed is the man that God forgive your sins and don't put a demon in you. And don't put a demon in you. Whatever God don't put a demon in me. Don't put a demon on me. Don't do me like you did Saul. Don't do me like you did Ahab. Don't do me, Lord, don't put a demon in me. Don't do me like you did Judas. Oh, 
Oh, put a demon in me, Lord. Please, Lord. I preach it, Lord. Oh, put a demon in me. In the book of Ezekiel, they kept the gates. They preached the holiness. They made the sacrifice. But they had to bear the iniquity. They had to keep a demon. They, could, they, they themselves, they were helping others. But they couldn't get delivered. Oh, let me be able to preach. And I can't get healed. Oh, let me preach. And I can't get delivered. Oh, let me preach. And I'm on my way to sin. Let the husband man be first partake of the food. Y'all better hear me right now. If we're in an hour now, where are the beacons of light? Where are the leaders that can show us back to the old rugged cross? Where are the leaders today? And I say, God, if I can find my way back to the cross, I can find my way back home. If I can find my way back to holiness, if I can find my way back we're back to repentance, Lord. God, tonight, Lord, shine the light from heaven, Lord. Oh, let me get cold with my works undone. God, you told me there's a preacher. I pray for him every day. Oh, let him get cold with his works undone. I pray, Lord, don't let us get cold with our works undone. There's some of you in here tonight. You better cry out to God. God that stepped out of his place. God that stepped out of his place. God that stepped out of his place. There's some of you, God. God, let us say, child, almost killed you. And while you was on your bed of affliction, you cried. God like to took your mind. And by you sat there, you cried. And God heard you. But you didn't let the devil make you take her. You can go back and do it again. You better cry out. I'm coming to your children, mama, since you don't want to pray. I'm coming to your children, daddy, to just say, Lord, have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy. You better jump up at your seat. You better run to the mercy seat. You better run to the mercy seat. You better run. You better run. Run to the mercy seat. Tell God, please. God, don't let me get cold. When my work's undone, he's coming out of his place. He's coming out of his place. Take your time if you want. Take your time and keep playing with him. Take your time with all that bitterness and resentment. Take your time with all that envy. With all that jealousy. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Come you instead of praying with God. You better cry out to God. You better cry out to God with your whole heart. You better cry out to God with everything that's within you tonight. You better tell him from the pulpit to the back door. From the sound room to the media. You better fall on your knees. You young people, y'all think ain't nothing happened to y'all. Cause your dad is a preacher. Cause your mama's a missionary. You better cry out. Judgment's gonna begin at the house of the Lord. And if it begin with us, what shall it be for those? You understand the sinners of this world. If the righteous scarcely, scarcely be saved. Where shall the sin and the ungodly appear? You better cry out. It may be you next. It may be you next. And we have to officiate. It may be you next. You sit around playing. You may you pray with God. You pray with me. You playing. That homosexual spirit. You playing. That little, that little lesbian spirit. You playing. That fornicating demon. You coming up in the house of God. Like don't nobody see you. You playing. But that's all right. I'll leave you like that. I'll let you think you fooling me. I'll let you think you getting by me. You understand? That stupid flesh make you think. You can lie to God. And you can listen. When the eyes of the Lord is in every place. I see the evil and the good. The night is as day unto me. How you going to lie to me? How you going to lie? You ought to be on your knees. Saying, Lord, my sins are ever before thee. And against thee and the owner have I sinned and done this evil. I acknowledge my sin. It ain't my mama nor my daddy. It ain't the preacher nor the deacon. It ain't my husband. It ain't my wife. It's me, oh God. It's me. Oh God, preacher, you better crowd. Prophetess, you better crowd. Prophetess, you better crowd. Preacher, you better crowd. Pastor, you better crowd. Handmaid, you better call upon her. You better crowd. All these years you've put in, it's a sad thing for you to stand before God that got right to the cross of her, like Moses and can see it, but you can't enter in because you sit around and then sanctify God. Call upon him, tell the Lord, oh, let me get. 
night to the edge and miss my blessing. Oh, let me miss the time of my visitation order. God, don't listen. Please, God, I'm calling upon you. I hope I ain't ran out of chances tonight. I hope I ain't ran. I hope you can hear me tonight. I hope you ain't gonna laugh at me, Lord. You said they're gonna call, but you ain't gonna answer. God, answer me, Lord. Answer me for my children. Answer me for my grandbabies. Answer me, Lord, for the church. Answer me for these next revivals. Answer me, Lord. God, in this revival for these next few days, they're going to stay at home. And they're going to regret the days. They're going to need to make their way out to the house. They're going to need to hear that word. They're coming by here. They're going to hear that word. I need something going to break this flesh. I need something going to bring me up under subjection. I need something going to help me to die. Because if I don't die to the flesh, I'm on my way to hell. God, flesh and blood cannot enter to the kingdom of God. Call upon him, woman. Call upon him, man. Cry out, mourn like a dove. Mourn like a dove. Howl like a bear. Mourn like a dove. Howl like a bear. Whoa! You better cry. You better cry. You don't cry. You don't cry at the funeral. You don't cry at that ear. When that I see you, you don't cry when you go to visit him in jail. You don't cry when you see him in a psychiatric ward. You don't cry. You don't cry when you see him hung in the closet. You'll cry. Oh God, when the doctor gave him that report. Oh God, I don't wait. I don't want to wait, Lord. There's something that happened before I cry. I'm crying now, Lord. I'm crying, Lord, that you have mercy. I'm crying, that's not for me. I'm praying, Lord. Not just for me, but for my children, Lord. For my children's children. Cry out, Mama. Cry out, Daddy. Cry out, Pastor. Cry out, Pastor. Cry out for your church. Cry out to God. Break judgment. Crowd. Crowd. Call upon a Jesus. Jesus. The tell of God. He's a killing God. He's a killing God. There's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. He's a terror. Call upon him. He's the Lord that kills. Crowd. Crowd. Come on a crowd to it. Come on a crowd to it. Come on a crowd to it. Come on a call upon him with your whole heart. Come on, come on. Come on and mourn like a dove. Howl like a bear. Mourn like a dove woman. Howl like a bear. You don't cry now. I got some stuff that'll make you scream. I got some stuff that'll make you scream. America gonna scream. I'ma make America not cry. I'm going to make them scream like they're screaming in other countries. I'm going to make America scream. You pray with me, preachers. You done made the folk think that I'm bipolar. You got the folk thinking I ain't got a made of mind. You got the folk thinking I'm flipping in, flipping out. You got them thinking they don't even fear me no more. Cause you preachers got them thinking that I'm a bipolar God. But I'm going to show you America and the rest of the world. I'm not a bipolar God. I'm a God of holiness. I'm a God of wrath. I'm a God of judgment. You better cry out to God. You better cry out to God. If I burn cities up with fine brimstone. If I open up the earth and swallow 23,000 fornicators. In one day, if I send snake into the camp to bite a bunch of folk playing with me and murmur complaining, you better cry to God. You better cry to God. You better cry to God. If I put a lying spirit in the mouth of all of the Arab's prophets so I could get a king killed, if I set him out and switch spirits and put an evil spirit upon a king that was once anointed and caused him to go to Susan. Caused him to go to witch doctors.
is and what stood for the word of God. But what you think I do to you? I'll turn you over to a reprobate man. I'll let you be in the pulpit. I'll let you be on your instrument. I'll let you be in the sound booth. I'll let you be in the media booth. I'll let you be in the kitchen. I'll let you be in the secretary's office. I'll send your soul to hell. You better cry to God. You better cry to God. God, please, don't let me die. Don't let sin. Because somebody that condoned it. Because somebody gave me a pass. And made it think you bipolar. What you didn't like, you like it now. What you didn't want, you want it now. What you didn't stand for, you stand for it now. What you forbid it. You don't forbid it now. God, don't let me pray, Lord. Whatever was there, give it to me, Lord. Give me your mind, Lord. Give me your mind, Lord. Cry out, say, please. Please, judgment is here. You ain't seen nothing. It's in the water. It's in the air. It's in the food. They thought they seen an eclipse. They saw the sun get dark. It was naturally. It's getting ready to get dark. God gonna send an eclipse. There's an eclipse in the church world. They can't see the sun no more. They can't see the S-O-N no more. They can't see the Savior no more. They can't see the deliverer no more. They can't see the holiness no more. They can't see the man that did no sin. You know what the gal found in his mouth? Cry out, cry out. Sweet, come on, come on. Come on and tell him, please. God, don't let this, this, this what they're doing, desensitize me. God, I've been in trouble, I've been in church. God, I done got desensitized. I'm listening. To, I can hear him preaching, go out and fornicate. Like it don't mean nothing, please. Something wrong with me, something wrong with me. I can get out and fornicate and play and masturbate. Play with the more perverted demons, Lord. I'm clubbing, I'm going to the, to the clubs, I'm drinking, I'm smoking, God. But I'm coming to church and I'm preaching, taking sermons. And I got the people thinking, Lord, play, but something's wrong with me, something's wrong with me. I'm married, Lord, but I want another man. I'm married, woman, married, woman, but I want another woman. God, something wrong with me, Jesus. Get this beard, get this stuff off of me, Jesus. God, if a man get lost now, Lord, he can't find his way back because the preachers that took the landmark and have made you a bipolar God, Jesus. Oh, why folk don't fear you, that why folk don't respect you, they think you're a bipolar God, Jesus. Mother, I'm asking you for a miracle, Lord. I'm asking you for a miracle, Jesus. I'm asking you for a miracle, Jesus. Please help me, please help me. God, these next few nights, Lord, please, send your anointing. Send your anointing, Jesus. You don't come out your place. The mercy seat. Please have mercy, please, please. Some of you are guilty of sin. Tell him, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. God, I can't take it, Lord Jesus. God, I can't take it, Lord. Please, Jesus, help me. God, I'm the cause of my children, Lord, being bipolar. God, they watch me live two different lives. They watch you listen at the preacher preach and watch you get by yourself. You eat different than the preacher's preaching. You live different than the preacher's preaching. And then you expect us as your children to respect the God that you so-called serve, Jesus. You raised up a generation that does not regard God. Oh, God, there's a generation that does not regard you, Jesus. God have not been cleansed from their iniquities, Lord. Oh, Jesus, please, Lord, please, Jesus, please. Have mercy standing on your feet all over this building with your head bowed and your eyes closed. With your head bowed and your eyes closed. Don't get distracted. And if you can't get up off your knees, you stay right there. You stay right there. Father, in the name of Jesus. You're coming out of your place. You 
said, when the judgments of the Lord are in the earth, the people of the world are going to learn to do righteous. But it may be too late for some folk because you done cried out to them. They didn't want to listen. You pleaded with them, but they didn't want to listen. Lord, don't let it be said it's too late. Don't let it be said, young people, please, please, young people, please, please, young people. I told you, parents, I told you, lovers, wear loose garments. I told you to wear loose garments. I told you to wear loose garments. I told you to wear loose garments. God, don't desensitize me, Lord, that I can't feel you no more. Don't desensitize me where I don't feel conviction no more. Let me wait, Lord. Let me, let me wait, Lord. Please, Jesus. Please, Jesus. Please don't let me compromise, Lord. God, don't let me compromise, Lord. Please, Jesus, if I don't get to preach in the arenas. If I don't get to preach in the conferences, Lord, don't let me compromise, Lord. Let me preach on the street. Let me set the biggest tents I can find, Lord, please. Anoint me, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord just spoke to me and said there'll be miracles in this meeting. He said there will be miracles in this meeting for those for those that are calling upon me. I shall deliver. I shall deliver. I want you to turn around as you walk back to your seat. I want you to grab somebody and hug them as tight as you can and say, Lord, don't let us miss it. Just say, Lord, don't let us miss it. Please, God, don't let us miss it, Lord. Go to somebody and just say, Lord, don't let us miss it. My soul loves Jesus. My soul loves Jesus. My soul loves Jesus. Bless his name. My soul loves Jesus. My soul loves Jesus. My soul loves Jesus. Bless his name. He's a wonder. In my soul, lift them hands and help me say, He's a wonder in my soul. He's a wonder in my soul. Bless his name. He is a wonder in my soul. He is a wonder in my soul. He's a wonder in my soul. Bless his name. Those of you in the live stream, we hope and pray tonight that God touched your heart. I hope and pray that you were reachable. I hope and pray that you were touchable. I hope and pray that you have not been desensitized or your conscience been seared with a hot iron or that you're past feeling or that maybe God didn't turn you over to a reprobate. I pray that you was able to hear my sheep know my voice and a stranger they will not fall. So until the next service on tomorrow night the Lord say the same. May God bless you. Trumpet and Zion live stream, it's giving time. The first giving option is Cash App. That's dollar sign, give T-I-Z. The second giving option is PayPal. That's paypal.me 
forward slash give T-I-Z. You can also mail in your gift. Send all gifts to P.O. Box 1267, Gulfport, Mississippi, 39502. On behalf of Trumpet and Zion Fellowship and our leader, Brother Daryl McCoy Sr., we want to say thank you for all of your love, all of your gifts, and all of your support. Trumpet and Zion Fellowship desires, above all else, to move the gospel of Jesus steadily forward. And one of the most exciting ways we do so is with the construction of our brand new Augusta, Georgia church. We expect to complete construction by the end of this year. And it's because of your diligence and willingness to give and to support that make this labor of love possible. Again, we say thank you, Livestream, for all that you do. Remember to stay prayerful, stay joyful, and remain faithful and diligent in all that you do for the name of Christ. We can't wait to see you again soon.